so I don't know if you ladies and gentlemen remember but last year when I came here to Connecticut and I actually fished with Ben over here we fished many different places Ooh, check that out huh let me just show you what this is going to be about <laughs> pumpkin seed on the Z popper <laughs> so as I was saying we were fish different places and there was one goal that I really wasn't able to achieve right which was the goal of breaking my PB bluegill now I know that for a lot of you bluegill is just a little panfish oh, sunny bram but in this video I'm going to show you that the bigger bluegill not only are worthy of the fight right but they're just top of the crop right especially on the light gear so we found this little spot here on the connecticut river that is looking very very juicy as you folks can see plenty of structure around here and cover right in particular this big stump over here i got the epf swim here on this setup ready and good to go so what do you folks think huh will epf today be able to break that one pound bluegill barrier that's exactly what we're going for you know and i gotta tell you i'm gonna get started because the action is good look at the size of that bluegill on top water that is crazy bro yeah that's like more than half a pound right there so all right enough talking and let's get the fishing started that is awesome well the action is hot out here ben is currently casting towards that direction so i'm going to get started with this big piece of stump right over here we just run the live scope and we saw that there are plenty of fish around it so i know for sure that there's some good stuff down there it's gotta be smart bluegill i'll give you that Oh, that's, that's not a bluegill, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, look how it fights on the ultralight. Yeah? Bro, yeah, it's, it's a nice it's, one. It's yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> I gotta get by the line, bro. bro. <laughs> look at this. Look at the size of this bluegill. That is crazy. That's like a one pounder. I'm pretty positive. That's like, you know, eight to nine inches, one pounder, chunky bluegill. What a bluegill. That is crazy, dude. It is a big bluegill. Dude, that's a big bluegill. <laughs> you, you see the fight on the, on the ultra? You think fall like that, bro. <sighs> there we go. Nice. Yeah, okay. Let's see how big this bluegill is. Oh. Yeah. Nine, nine, nine and a half. Yeah. Nine, this, this, nine, nine and a half. Yeah, nine and three quarter. Nine, yeah. Yep. Look at that. I'm gonna put it back in the net. Get some more water here. Yep. And then I'm gonna take a shot of it. Nine and a half inch. This is like my PB bluegill. This is huge. This is huge, bro. Like for a bluegill to grow to that size, like wild. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking wild. Cause on Instagram there are a few people who you know. They feed the bluegill and things like that. You know what I'm saying? No, this is this is wild. You know what I'm saying? That's huge. That's huge. I'm gonna wait it out real quick. Dude, this is Connecticut wild bluegill, bro. Can't believe it. That is crazy. It might All right. Be a pound. Hey, one moment. I don't want to hurt it at the at the gill to make it bleed. So, okay, just real quick. Oh, sadly not a pound, dude. Point. Point A, wait, ah, oh, wait, let me see here. Point A3, point A3 pounds. So sadly, not, not a pound, but point A3 pounds, three quarters. You know what I'm saying? Three quarters of a pound bluegill over here. And that's, that's a pretty decent bluegill. I'll give you that. Holy smokes. Dang, son. That's... That's intense. That was intense. That's still the biggest one I ever caught. I mean, hands down, you know? Yeah, yeah, nine and a half. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, bye. Wait, did this entire trunk just move? Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> this is like all jumbos, bro. <laughs> Yo, we found, we found the, the blue gill. The bro, bro, I'm telling you, like people, <laughs> bro, people who like blue gill. You know what I'm saying? People who fish for blue gill. This is, this is, yeah, this is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie, you know, this is this is a little bit ridiculous. Look at the size of that thing. Holy smokes, on ultralight? This thing is actually fighting so good. Wow, dude. It One little tiny so EPF, they fight so good, bro. Unbelievable. That's another three quarter of a pound. Dang. That's insane. All right. Let's try to catch that, uh, that one pounder over there. That is crazy. Gotta tell you, that is pretty insane. That was your 3 PB bluegill in a row? Yeah. Before that, my PB bluegill was in the range of 0.65. You gonna go get it? No. Don't worry about it. We're in the right ship. I'm removing from your gills. Dude, oh. look at the wake that the bluegill did. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Did you see the wake? No, I didn't. <laughs> Bro, you remember the water did <laughs> As a bluegill lover, I do have to say, this is a lot of fun, this is a lot of fun. That's what I like about it. Yo, what the hell is this? I think there's not a big bluegill over there, bro. Because they make my medium rod bend like... Wow. Like it is a ugly stick. That's cool, you know you're gonna get another bite. Yeah. It seems that this whole school is about this size though. So we will have to weed out a little bit. I mean, there's gonna be like a king hopefully bigger bluegill but this is already like really good quality though this is really good quality it's like one bluegill a cast insane they're all in that piece of structure look at the bend on that rod bluegill you wouldn't believe it, right? Bluegill. Holy smokes. And it's all nice size bluegill too. Holy my man. One bluegill a cast. There we go. Yeah, not as big as the other ones though. But I'll take it. Yeah, the fish over here are definitely getting finickier. It's still, it's still a very big one. Yeah, it's still a pretty nice one, but <clears throat> it is time to shift strategies and shift spots, I think. Look at that, huh? Man, that's a nice bluegill right over here. Look at that. On the EPF swim. But I tell you all what, Ben has been having a blast with the top water. So I think I'm going to give this spot a little rest because the fish over here are getting very finicky and I'm going to change to a Z popper myself to see, you know, if we can catch some nice bluegill on the other side. Yes, man, by the riverside, we're going to catch here a big fish. Don't tell me that. W Got it. Hey! That's right. Well, let's see. Dude. Bro. Have you ever seen a golden shiner on the Z popper? Absolutely not. Me either. This is the first this is the first time phenomenon golden shiner on the popper. Dude. Bro, 
Have you ever seen a golden shiner on the Z popper? Absolutely not. Me either. This is the first this is the first time phenomenon golden shiner on the popper. This is my first one ever from the Connecticut River too. Golden shiner. Gotta take a photo. Unbelievable. On the popper. That is fun, dude. Yeah, that is Look fun. Yeah. Look at that. Top water golden shiner. Cannot make that up. Big bluegill. Dude, they're big. They're big, huh? They roll on it. Oh, you get over right there. Oh, crap. <laughs> Walk the dog with the Z popper. <laughs> Dude, they bite like sharks. Oh, that's crazy, man. Usually I pop the Z-popper, you know? I don't usually walk the dog. Walk the dog with the Z-popper. That was a nice hit too. <laughs> Yo, bro, that's a crappy too. The shark. So aggressive. So aggressive. Yeah, nice crappy too. I kind of stopped it and it just came up and it smoked it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a photo of this one because it's my first crappie of the day on the top water. Look at that, huh? Eurotaco Z Popper. Beautiful. Boy, oh boy, what a day. Regardless, one pounder, not one pounder, you know? So far, things are going so well out here. Who would have thought crappie on the top water? Man, that is crazy. Gotta take a little five minutes break over here, man. It's too much for my heart. Gotta blow up just now back there too. Walking the dog, Z Popper. They love that action. That's crazy. Not a bluegill. Not a bluegill? That was bluegill at first. Oh, dude, dude. A golden shiner, <laughs> no way. Wow, now you got a golden shiner on the Z popper too. Yeah, how, how do you feel, bro, on your accomplishment that very few people have done before? I still can't believe it. Still can't believe it, right? Me neither. This is unbelievable. This has got to be the most aggressive school of golden shiner that I've seen in a good while. Mm. Yeah. Golden shiner. Back in. Notemigonus chrysoleucus. I was going to say that. <laughs> right? Yo, that's sick. They're very aggressive, yeah. The one popped up on my three times. I mean, missed it, but... Got him. Crappy. Wow, nice. Dude, and the ones that are aggressive are nice crappy too. That is crazy, look at that. Wow. Well, Jeff Rose, if you're watching this right now, bro, we got the new technique for it to try, Jeff. <clears throat> Connecticut crappy slayer over here. So excited, I'm losing my voice, man. Holy smokes. Top water crappy. Got him. Walking the dog, Z Papa. It's not that one pounder that we're looking for, but boy, this gotta be the biggest bluegill I got on top water so far. Bugiwa, both hooks too. So greedy. Goodness gracious. Man, you cannot make this up. This is a good day on the water. Wow, look at that, huh? Top water bluegill. Talk about that. I thought you had a fish on. Me too, bro. I'm about to do the outro over here because it is already like, yeah, 3.45 p.m. It is time for Ben and I to actually move to another portion of the river. 
to pursue some other species of fish tell you all what huh that one pounder ended up not showing up today huh I'm going to leave a list here of everything that we actually called this afternoon on the Connecticut River golden shiner on top water nice bluegill up to like 0.9 pounds which is pretty decent days like this you know even when you don't achieve your goals it is still a great feeling out there not to mention if you watch this entire video and you have used the z popper before well now you know that you can also walk the dog with it instead of just doing a popping approach huh so don't tell extreme fully fishing that i don't teach your folks stuff out there okay kind of losing my voice a little bit been talking a lot this afternoon we've been and yelling here and there so i'll see you folks next time as always thank you very much for watching tight lines and take it easy